Good morning, GRTWA Kindergarten Artists. Today we're going to do a very fun project that is mixed media. That means we're going to use more than one thing to make the picture. To start, you will need a piece of white paper. Take the paper and fold it in half, hot dog style, and give it a good crease because for this project, you're going to need a top and a bottom. I'm sure many of you have been down the shore or at a lake and you see the houses along the banks of the water and it reflects into the water and you look and you see the houses in the water. That's what we're doing today. We're making reflections. So the next part of your project is going to be to cut shapes in the squares and triangles, and then you're going to glue them onto that middle line. Now, I've already cut my shapes to save some time, but you can get some paper and you can cut out your shapes and you're going to put them right on that little line in the middle. And I just put on a square. Now I'm going to place a rectangle right next to it. Then I have another one, a little square, and you can see that the colors that I'm using are changing with every single house that I put on. And these are houses along the lake. You don't see the lake because I did not make it yet. Now I've got my houses on here. I can add some details to those houses. For example, let's say I wanted this house to have a door. Maybe a couple windows would also be nice. When you are gluing, make sure that you only put a dot. Don't put globs and globs of glue on your paper because then it will ooze out of the sides of your buildings. If you would like to have a roof, Put a dot and there's your roof. If you would like more details on the other buildings, you can just keep going. Here I go. I'm just going to town on these, having a good old time putting a roof on. I think this house, I'm just gonna make a flat roof and maybe I'll even add a chimney. Let's put that last one on. Last building, there is my little triangle roof. You can also add a door here and there if you want. You don't have to put details on every window or you can put windows and doors on every window, every single building, it's up to you. Okay, boys and girls. Now I have my houses along the lake done. I'm going to then get a brown crayon and I'm going to draw the dock. A dock is where you walk. It's kind of like a boardwalk. You walk along this boardwalk and you just enjoy the water. Now, where's the water? Well, the water is going to be down here. And what I want you to do is find a crayon the same color as the house you just made. And I want you to color it into the water so that it looks like a reflection. So here would be the roof. And boys and girls, you don't have to do this project all at once. You could do the buildings one day, you can do the reflections in the water the next day, you can do it the way you would like. Here's my red, my red building. And I'm just, adding some little details like my um, orange roof on this one and a chimney. The next house you can see is yellow and you can color pretty hard and you'll see why in a couple of minutes. We've all done crayon resist. That's when we color with crayon and add watercolor on top. And the reason it's called crayon resist is that the crayon is made out of wax. As you can see, it's made out of wax. 
and the watercolor has to have water to activate it. Water and wax don't mix. Water and wax, and you know this from wax paper and spilling things in the kitchen on wax paper, it just kind of beads up and goes away. Oh boy, oh boy, this is coming along very nicely. Now I have my buildings out of paper. I have my buildings that are reflected. Now I'm going to get out my watercolor. So you need a cu little cup of water. You need some paint. And you're gonna go right over those buildings. Any spot that you did not color is going to pick up the water from the watercolor and it's going to pick up blue if you use blue. It's going to pick up purple if you use purple in the water. You can see it beating up. You can add some nice cool colors like greens and purples and blues and you can go right over these buildings and you could pretend that you are down the shore or at a lake and you're looking at this beautiful lake and you've got all these great colors in the water. If you use blue for the water, you're not gonna wanna use blue for the sky because blue water and that's a lot of blue. So you might switch colors when you go to do the sky. Here's my water looking good. I'm going to add a little green. You can see that all the buildings are now reflected. I'm going to add a little sky. I think I'm just going to add a little bit of yellow because it's a very, very warm day outside. I'll add a little bit of orange in the sky, just very lightly. When I say lightly, that just means put a lot of water on your brush and put just a little bit of paint and you can spread that around. And before you know it, you will have a beautiful picture. You're gonna have a picture in mixed media. That means more than one thing was used to make the picture. And here we have paper, buildings, reflections, and water. What a nice summer day. I hope that you enjoy your projects and I hope you have fun painting. And when you're all done, if you could take a picture of it and send it to me by email, I know mom and dad know how to do that. Go right ahead, I'd love to see them. Thanks boys and girls, have a great day, bye.